Hi everyone. Hope you can hear me over my little portable air conditioner thing. I've had quite quite the rough night. I think it's I don't know what time it is. I don't know. Probably a little after five in the morning. And I always think, gosh, this is my worst night or my worst day with this body heating and the chills, but I think last night was the worst. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I was sitting here trying to think. I guess I dozed. I'm at the kitchen table still from the whole night. Never made it to my room. But uh, I, I'm trying to think what, what was different. Nothing. We're here. We don't go anywhere. I can't do anything. But then I thought, what was it, two days ago I replanted those two plants. Which, by the way, has anyone guessed which two they are? You don't have to, but it'd just be interesting if you did it. Go back to the, both videos of my garden, the two. I think they're back to back almost. But anyhow, so I did that two days ago. And after that, what did I do? I watered the ones in the front. I watered the other ones. You know, not like normal people with a hose because we all know. I, I don't even want to talk about that, that monster. But, um, but you know, I've... I water them all the time, so, and I do it when, you know, it's cooler. But then, what did I do? I think I did another Instacart, because, you know, water and Gatorade, <coughs> you just can't get, and it's getting crazy, but I'll do that in another video. So, within two days' time, I did that. Again, I, you know, watered again. Um... I pulled out some garbages. I, I I really don't know what what else was different. I mean the heat, the you know, humidity index, all that is you know pretty much the same. It's H E double hockey sticks. Nothing's different. But just doing that little bit just makes it even harder for me. And what makes it even harder is that the doctors have just given up, like, hmm, we don't know what's wrong. August 2nd, I believe it was August 2nd at first, but I think it was the 2nd. Gee, should I have a celebration to celebrate one year of burning in hell, basically? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> the only option one doctor gives me, instead of saying, hey, let's, Let's do a CT somewhere. Let's CT your your brain and your your abdomen and let's let's do an MRI, you know, by a specialist who knows what to order. I mean my doctor did one and I'm grateful for it, but like he said, he doesn't really know. It's not his forte, he's a primary care. They won't do it. And I had another doctor who says the only person that could really help you is a researcher, but they wouldn't be interested in you because, because why? I'm not a sports star. I'm not a movie star. I'm my son's star. I may not make the money they do. I make no money. But because I'm not rich, because I'm a nobody, my life doesn't matter. Well, I think my life matters more than those overpriced sports players and overpriced actors and all those overpriced people. Especially the baseball. They stand there with a stick, a stick in their hand waiting to run around from one base to another. Nothing against you people who like baseball, but I, I don't, could never understand that. There's no action. It takes forever, and God forbid if they have to go into overtime. Yes, I'm a basketball and soccer enthusiast, but still, there's no action. There's no, on the edge of your seat, like basketball, you got, you know, just a few minutes left. But a few minutes can turn into a lot of minutes, I guess, for those people who aren't into basketball, you know, when they stop the clock. But still, they're always running back and forth, doing shots, three-pointers, two-pointers, what they're doing, ball shots, you know. It's exciting. It's kind of like my life. The excitement, the flame went out. All I'm doing is suffering. Like I said, it's almost been a year now. And I've been suffering nonstop. And no, I'm not the only one. My friend there, he's just... Uh, I saw a picture of him and... God, it just breaks my heart. He's getting thinner and thinner and thinner than me. 
Did they think it was possible that anyone could get thinner than me quicker? My heart just breaks for him, and he's on a liquid diet. Basically, what I've been on since January of 2019. I try to put it in perspective, but I'm still here breathing, but am I? Could one, one moment, one day, all of a sudden, oh, gee, that, you know, I can talk someone into doing one more blood test, one more test, and I, oh, gee, this is what you have. Well, you would have found it sooner. I, I don't understand all the miscarriage of medical treatment and then the specialist telling me you know I asked him well what what if I get a fever I mean how will I even know will I even know and if I do and my body doesn't sweat it won't turn down you know the heat won't turn down I'll be burning up and he said oh that would that wouldn't be good so I have that always in the back of my mind front of my mind I don't know my mind you know, is this burning? Is it going to be turned to a fever? I mean, I take my temperature. He wanted me to take it three times a day. I take it a million times. I've also been using Polly's monitor because my heart's been getting worse and worse, and I have to get into cardiology because they need to check it. According to dermatology, this may be a cardiac issue. I don't know. It could be a lung issue. I don't know. I think between all the doctors together, I know more than they do. I don't, I don't know why I don't matter. But to hear you don't matter, because, you know, he didn't put it on those many words. He did say, like, I don't matter, but not like, you know, you're not a rich person, a movie star, a, a doctor's kid or a doctor's wife or, you know, it pretty much that's what it is. And the worst part about all of this is Polly, you know, Every time he takes a step forward, I think this is great, you know, weaning the, still weaning, very slowly we're going, weaning him off his seizure medicine, I thought for sure he might be able to, you know, if my car lives that long, I don't know who will make it longer, my car or me, maybe he could take the, a road test, I mean the written, whatever, I don't know, I'm burning up right now, terrible. And freezing all at once. But no, no. The heart thing came. And then just recently when he had another episode. All he wanted is the best for kids. And I just pray and pray. I prayed so hard that this wouldn't happen again. That maybe he'd have a chance to grow out of it. Or maybe it wouldn't happen again. Some people live with this and they don't need the surgery. And they don't need everything else. That, that you know, his father with all the all the bucks that doesn't want to open his wallet for us. This is day three. He's starving me. Because anything I have, I give to Polly to make sure he eats three days. And no, it's not It's not the not eating because because I've, I've gone without food before. So that's not something different. It's not new. <coughs> but he sits here stuffing his face, comes over. Oh, I got a real good video for you guys to watch. It's pretty sickening, actually. But anyhow, on and off, I was dozing off in the kitchen and then, you know, burning all the time, wiping myself down with wet cloth. I have a thermos bottle, so I fill it up with water and ice and cool myself down. But then the chills start, and I wrap myself in a blanket and a hoodie. But um, and then if I doze off, that's the worst part. And when I get up, my body is just like, I don't know, a fever of 105. I've had a fever that high. 104.8, I think, actually was. The polys was that high when he got really sick in the hospital. So I know what it feels like, and that's what it feels like. And yet I had the chills. So kind of like you say, it's like a fever thing, but there's no sweat comes. But I don't have a fever. I take my temperature. I don't have a fever. It's, it's a crap show. Oh my gosh, don't tell me the light's going to go. Of course it is. So anyhow, we could really use your prayers. Because Polly worries about me. My, my kitchen is, well, his bedroom is the first one by the kitchen. And tonight he was just, like, using every excuse, kind of. Not, not saying excuse, just kind of staying up, watching TV. Well, it's not TV anymore. There's some streaming thing that his father decided to share with him, but... He was watching something, I don't know, and, you know, I was going to tell him to go to bed, but 
Sunday he could sleep. Well, I don't know how long we can sleep because it's going to get hot. But I know he's worried and I, I don't know. I was so weak. I literally was so weak. I know, what, well, not that this is different, but... So now it's, like I said, it's after 5 a.m. on a Sunday. So I, um, I wash my hair. We've taken a shower and wash my hair. I don't have enough energy for it. I get very dizzy and faint. So I wash my hair. I dried it with cool. I have to dry my hair or else it turns into a mess. <laughs> so I did that, and literally my whole body was shaking while I was doing it. It was an awful, awful feeling. And I've washed my hair before, obviously, and I didn't feel that way, so I'm thinking I overdid it, you know, in the last two days. Transplanting two plants and watering my garden and doing two bags from Instacart and pulling out a garbage that shouldn't be overdoing it. But whatever's wrong with me, any little thing sucks the life out of me. So anyhow, I dozed off, woke up, was shivering, shivering but burning. Just like when you have a fever, but I don't. So I put the blanket on my hoodie, and then I dozed off again. And Holly had said, he'd said, Mom, the news is on, and he said I didn't answer at all. So he let me sleep. And then I had woken up, and I'd given him his medicine at midnight, and then I asked him, does he remember what time I took my medicine, and he, he said no. So... Luckily, I have a pill bottle where I put my pills in for the day. I started counting. I didn't even take my medicine. I was so out of it. So, I think something's getting worse. Something. We don't know what the something is. But my fear is for my son. I pray every day that he, he somehow can get through life without me because obviously he won't be here forever. And the way I feel now, I don't know. The not being here forever seems sooner rather than later. So that was just worries me constantly. So I don't know. Just prayers. I don't know what to pray for. Usually you pray for this. the doctors have the answers or I don't even know. But they don't care. They've given up. They wash their hands of me because you know what? I'm not a cookbook case. I'm not a cookbook case. So, if I can have your prayers, and I pray for you guys, and stop by and say hello, I worry about you. You know who you are. I did a video of roll call. I think something like that. If you want to just check in, and you people tell us about yourself, and people have been here forever, for a long time, reintroduce yourself, would be nice. Some reading for me to do, you know, to get my mind off of burning, and freezing, and just holding on to my sanity, I guess. I don't know. This is so awful when you, when you put a washcloth that's ice cold on your forehead and literally it's sizzling and it's hot already. I just don't know anymore. It's hard to hold on with hope, trying to hope that, oh yeah, one day this will just go away like it came. It won't. It just keeps getting worse. I know you're all happy with your problems too, and I can't continue to pray for you guys. In our world, I don't know. I just don't know. that will be in another video. So for now, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. It helps put my videos out there for more people to see. Share my videos. Be kind to people you don't know what they're going through. Be kind to yourself. Enjoy life because you never know. One day you could wake up and you stop sweating and you're burning up and freezing all at once. And you can't eat food and you keep losing weight and you have a disabled child that you got to worry about what will happen to him. Enjoy every little blessing. Right now, my blessing is my son. I really see no other blessings. It's nobody should have to live like this in, in the day and age we live in. People should know how to figure something like this out. But they won't. So anyhow, I hope you're enjoying life. Most importantly, stay safe. Thanks for stopping by.